Okay, we're at the back entrance. And immediately this strikes me as a later addition to do something to access the ground, to floor here. I mean, why would you why would you create this messy situation? Um, so the floor level is here. Do I go in there and check this out? So you've got a window, essentially at walk-in level. Now they've done that thing trick of turning this into a door and saying this is what they always planned, but as we saw with Letton Hall, it doesn't make sense. This is clearly cladding. I believe this is cladding, and this probably is a later Victorian window. But you see how the cladding here is not actually part of the original building. This is just a facade. Just a facade. Let me give you a zoom if you're not sure. I... <laughs> Look at that. So this is a clad. This is put on top of the original Tartarian red brick structure that's sitting beneath us. And if you could go back to my old channel and see the beautiful footage I got of Leighton Hall, you know what I mean. So a little bit more of the no, they, this couldn't be a mud flood for those people who still believe their masters. Yeah, this is the coal bunker, mate. They still keep their coal down here. That's why they got this grotty, wet, manky, beautiful window. Grotty, wet, manky. And actually, see, I, I have to ask the question, is this brickwork original or is this also clad? It's a tough one for me. I think that's original, but the window is recessed into it. Same here. Look at that. You know, and then you've got you know, what Sven and I were looking at when we were looking in Bournemouth at all those bridges that they create over the over the um that's the bridge going underneath here to create this new stairwell into this rather tatty looking front door. Um, so this is all this is concrete, this is, this is poured concrete sections. More of this ugliness down here. Oh, it's for the servants, the slaves. You remember that place in Bath I went to where the only way that the master could get was called the Golden Royal Circle, Royal Crescent. The only way that the master could get to his garden would be to go through the slaves' quarters, if you believe that story. So we've got a bit of sunlight on this side. So this whole level here is bringing you to a, the floor level, which is the same as the windows, but hiding all of this monstrosity underneath. Give you a little zoom in there. So it's, and as you can see, I mean, from the walls, it's so manky, it's so wet. Um, there'll be... Oh, there's guttering down in here. Look at that. Guttering. Because it's so... Um, it's so much water. There's a door there. See that? The slaves. Okay. Fascinating. And we'll keep walking around the front here. And as you can see there, they've got a... Some kind of thing down in there. But yeah, I mean, why do that to yourself? Why create this unnecessary half step and then bedrooms with floors? You can check that. There's a little chain here that suggests I'm supposed to step over it. But as you can see, the floor level is up here now. So is this a made up floor level? This or. Hmm. Oh, this is hot. Wow, look at the drop here. I would not jump down that. That's uh, 10 foot. 10 foot of back building. Okay, let's go a different way. Dot. Come on, go. Okay. Right. Back cam. Yeah, so this lump here where it would have been excavated out, this slope here, 
um, because the dirt level, the mud level, the settlement from above would have been to here and then they've cut this down. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's a bit um, eerie down here and wet. How do they keep it dry? Hi. Well, we don't really. <laughs> it's hard to keep dry, eh? Yeah, it's do you ever wonder why they built it like that? Underground? Uh, no? It was just the servants area. Servants area. Yeah. I was just um, in Bath a little while ago and you know the royal crescent in bath yeah. very famous uh and i met a lady who lives there on the on the ground floor and she right. said i have to come outside to have a fag in the mornings um because i can't get to the gardens at the back the only way to get to the gardens is through the basement oh. through that right. which is interesting all of those 30 p apartments they have the same problem yeah. so the question is why would the owner the master of the house build a situation where he would have to go past his servants in the morning to get to his garden. No, that's unusual. Right. But this is what I see. I go around the world studying these buildings and I have found a lot of that. So I, I research a subject area which you may not have heard of. It's called mud flood. Yeah. So we, we believe that um, the, these buildings predate, say, the 1600s, right. 1700s. All of them um, were subject to like a Noah's flood event where we had some kind of settlement of mud right. so when this building was originally recovered the dirt here would have had to be dug out because the dirt would have been at this level here yeah. and they had to dig this back down again in order to get through to this door yeah. and that the doors that you find in here i stayed in a stately home called letton hall in norfolk right. there i went into the basement and i found window frames and door frames opening into the mud opening into the ground just like this would yeah. be if they hadn't built this because this has been built after this is not original yeah and as you can see the water's just seeping mm -hmm. through here it's a yeah. mess hey so so this was built by the people who reclaimed this building so that they could gain access to no. the downstairs no you it don't was, agree um it was added on in about 1850 okay by the family who lived here. okay well that's what we think but that in the basement was already here it was just the terrace ah yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no well i i would offer to you just as a as a thought is that this basement was originally in the ground floor and that when we came back all of this dirt was here and we had to in order to ex in order to get access to these windows because it's kind of weird to have windows at the same level as the as the floor right that's kind of unusual mm, to no, put your windows i know i see a lot of it style. No, no, yeah, well, I see quite a lot of this where the window and the floor are at the same level. But normally in the real world, we would have a window at belly button level. So that when you look out of your window, you know, you're not putting the windows to the, to the floor. Yeah, but these windows are not original. They were originally sash windows. Oh, so they would have these have been put in yeah. afterwards, yeah. Went so after the terrace so that they made them into doors. Okay, so okay, around. yeah. Yeah, because again, I mean, the terrace is, is a later addition. Yeah. If you, you know the, the TV show Downton Abbey, yeah. I don't expect you to believe anything I'm telling you, but if you go and look at the floor plan of Downton Abbey, yeah. you'll find that the basement is far grander than the first floor or the ground floor now. And I believe that that basement was originally the ground floor with all grand rooms and ballrooms and so on. When you go into buildings like this, the floor levels are all over the place. The rooms are a little bit pokey. They don't make sense for a place that's as beautiful and as grand as this. I even offer to you that this cladding on the outside here is not the original. It's not part of the original roof uh, building. That this is covering red brick. Do you ever see red brick inside when you go around inside here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that this is that. Like when you look at... Maybe not this window, but I was around the other side. And when you look at the, the cladding up into the window frame, you'll find that it's actually not even attached to the window frame. It's a, it's a, it is, as you said, it isn't, the windows are like an after effect or an, a, you know, an aftermarket addition to this place. But this, I, I think, was a retrofit in order to regain access to the under, under floor. And all of this moisture, you see, when these were built, there was no such thing as um, plastic. There was no such thing to prevent water from ingressing. Uh, I've looked at buildings in Mayfair and Chelsea and places like that in London, and all of those people who have their downstairs basements, they have water problems. They're having to suck out water all of the time. Now, people that are clever enough to build like this would know that. They wouldn't put their buildings under water, that, that they were going to have to forever 
be dealing with the incoming water. You would, if I asked you to build a place, you'd go, oh, I'll build it from the ground up. Don't ask me to build 10 feet into the ground and then put my foundations five feet beneath that. That's a lot of additional work. So I, I just offered you, I don't expect you to believe anything I say, but if you, if you type in the search mud flood Tartaria into your, into your search engine and just go and look at the information. Go and look at it, look at all these buildings because around the world we've got buildings just like this where you've got these very strange after effects from the original building, you know. Um, because if you think about it, if they hadn't built this, then the door that you just walked out of would have been in the mud. Right? If, if, yeah, if, yeah. if I didn't come here and then dig a hole and then put all of this concrete in in 1850, as you said, then that door that you just, white, white door that you walked through, that would be in the mud. That might be the case for other buildings, but I don't think it's the case here. We have had a historic building survey. We have yeah. the original, but it was only yeah. built 200 years ago. It's not that old. And 200? It was, um, really? You know, it was built like this was originally. Wow. And it was part of the, wow. Part of the building. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, I, but uh, you know, like I'm, I'm coming in from the outside and yeah. throwing something at you that you've never heard of. Oh, yeah. um, you know, if, depending on your area of expertise, if you've gone to school and they said this is the, this is the answer to that question, then you'll accept that. And I did. I'm 54 years old. For 45 years of my life, I accepted pretty much all of this stuff. Now I say go and check for yourself that there is this whole body of research tens of thousands of people around the world are looking at buildings in countries where you go why have they got a building in south america or in in middle of africa they got a building like this and we're told that in the 1850s all they had was horse and cart you know so just check it out don't um don't don't shut it off for for because it's you know what not what you were taught at school i come from south africa we were taught that black people were inferior you know that's a lie right but what I was taught was that's true. And there's still people today in South Africa who believe that lie. So don't simply just accept it because you were taught it at school. Yeah, Go and look at this. Agree. You've got to have an open, got to always have an open mind, definitely. Thank you. The mind is like a parachute. It works best when open. So I'll leave you with that. Mud flood, Tartaria. Check yeah. it out. It's fantastic <laughs> subject, and um, and it can't harm to go and look at that stuff and just kind of ask yourself that question. You know, the same as this, I'd look at things like this and go, this is not original. You know, there was something else here. In fact, there was a window here, you know that, eh? That's the window frame as you see them normally. So, you know, why have they had to brick this in? This is the sill for the window. You know, why have they had to brick that in? There's one right, right next to you. You know, so and this is the same, I see the same telltale kind of signs on all of these buildings. And the one that I stayed in, Letton Hall, which was built in 1600s by the same guy who built the Bank of England. There's a whole museum to this guy. Um, the, the engineer, the surveyors were there when I was living there. And they said, yeah, the roof here is only 100 years old. We've analyzed the timbers and blah, 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 blah. And the roof is only 100 years old. So you could, on that basis, you could say this building is not as old as you think it is. But somewhere along the line, and these, everybody, the owners of it were surprised. They were like, no, this is the original roof. No, the roof is only 100 years old, but according to the, to the engineers. So yeah, just go home and think about this. Is that if without this addition, the only way into this building would have been through the mud. You had to first of all dig out the mud like they've done here, dig out the mud and then put in this portico, this section in order to kind of give you access. And of course, it's a it's a moisture nightmare yeah. for the owners. You know, in the Letton Hall, it was owned by a Christian sort of uh, thing. And they were like, we're going to have to sell this. It's costing us so much money to keep this building fresh, you know, because it's, it's got so many problems with moisture and floor levels all over the place. It's Tartaria and mud flood. Keep a, keep, keep a parachute mind. <laughs> yeah. All the best. Bye. Yeah. So, as you see, it's um, all sorts of, all sorts of oddities here. Yeah. And this reminds me, I mean, this reminds me, look, look, this is like Letton Hall. And they're all sorts of... Well, I hope that little conversation was useful. If I got in there, I'll tell you what. Let's see all sorts of weirdness. All sorts of weirdness because he has the floor level here. 
and then all of a sudden you've got two foot of floor level rise over here to get into this door see that just over this little space here my blood's real man my blood is real and I think it came from above but you see how easy it is for folks to be oh no we've been taught this this is what the, the this is what the smarter people than me say no they're not smarter than you they just believe the books they're the ones who read sucked up that book and they're like this is true this is the only truth So here we are, Arlington, eh? Arlington. The, com the, the connection to the, uh, the National Cemetery in America uh, has not escaped my attention. I will try and look into that a little bit. What is the connection between the two? We shall see. All right, time to go. Now it's time to blow your mind. I've gone and looked at Arlington Cemetery and here's the little rundown that I've got for you. It's very brief, but it is Darlington comes about uh, as a gift from the grandson or relative of George Washington, right? And that's that's interesting. So I go and look at George Washington, and I find out there's a conspiracy theory that runs that George Washington was played by a duke the fourth Duke of Devonshire, where I am, where Arlington House is, Devon. So this is a bit of a gut punch for the Americans because it really does prove that the, uh, the colonies never won anything. It's just that the royals managed to give them a hero, give them a musk, who was going to save their ass, who became the first president of America, and but was always the Duke of Devonshire. Unhappy Thanksgiving.